All right, what's good, YouTube? So I was on my way to the gym. I just dropped Riley off in the salvage yard where I picked the uh, LS motor at, called me, and told me that the motor was ready. So I'm here out sitting outside. I wish I would have started recording before I pulled up, but, you know, my tires and my, my dual pipes and stuff is so loud that a lot of times when I record in the truck, the sound just isn't that good. So I'm going to go in here, man, and... uh see what's up take y'all with me go in here and grab this motor real quick and get it to the mechanic and you know get this project going we're gonna get the motor on the on the uh motor stand the engine stand whatever and um full of day vlog man and i need to go work out though so let's go up in here real quick and see about grabbing this motor uh found it too for the low so again this is ls and on a budget but i'm going to show you all a way that you can do this on a budget even if you ain't a mechanic if you find the right person to help you do this so let's go in here see what we got going go this way. okay all right let's go and check him out how you guys got a full shop back here yeah i remember his was a long time ago but i've never been Back here, I don't think it was this. Yeah, we've been here for now. How you doing? All right. Yeah, I told. Uh, Where was that? LS motor. Yeah, my mechanic kept calling me, and I said, "Well, they said they're gonna call me when it's ready, man." <laughs> yeah. He's been one. calling me like two days. So it's this one up here. Okay. Um, the, I think the only difference between yours was. Uh, this one I think has the flex fuel injectors in it, I think. Oh, okay. So it's a 5.3 though. All right. I think it came out of like Tahoe, I think. So what's the difference between the flex fuel injectors and I'm not 100%. You're not sure? Curtis, the other guy that's usually here, he, he knows he, a little more with the LS stuff like that. I don't know okay. what the difference is, honestly. All right, that's fine. I'm pretty sure uh, my... Uh, guy he already looked it i mean he knows about it so okay. i'm pretty sure if there's an issue he would have told me yeah, not yeah. to matt yeah okay. yeah 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 yep. so you're all good all right yeah yeah i'm cool with it yeah get her over there we get her on the engine stand yep. and get the going Fun begins. yeah i'm gonna put in the um 86 monte carlo ss oh nice yeah but we've been uh record documenting the whole progress and putting it on youtube and stuff cool. yeah if you want to head back up front i'll get somebody get that down okay you. All right, so cool. Ah, the fuel flex. I'm oh, asking about that. The flex fuel injectors in it. But now we bring that mug back. All right, so let me pay for this. You like it? Yeah. Yep. Okay, what's the camera for? Ah, uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, we, me and Matt, we've been documenting the progress of him redoing the uh, LS motor, putting in the car, and stuff like that. So. Okay, this is your corporation. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah. then I can take off the tax. Oh. Nice. No, I'm going to get that. I can get that for you. I'm surprised yeah. I get a text yeah. message. I know we get a text message. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, Baba. Well, I ain't as broke as I thought I was going to be. <laughs> Door. What's up, Bruce? Uh, chilling, chilling. <laughs> All right, so cool. So, saved a little money using my tax identification number. That worked out good, man. We're gonna get this uh, LS build to Matt's house. And get on the stand, but I'm gonna go down here. We're gonna put it in the back of the truck. Look, I'm smiling like a kid on Christmas. I done got me a motor. I should have brought Chase with me. I grew up with this guy right here. He look old as hell now. All right, let me get out and <sighs> All right. Put her up 
in there. I'll slide it in a little bit. Okay, yeah. Hitch on it. There you go. Yeah, that's fine, right there. All right. How you been, man? Like somebody pulled up for you. Yeah, they were dropping some rotors off. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I told him I said I had just talked to him earlier. I said, I don't know where he at. Get this motor up in here. Got like seven minutes on this. Damn, did I go up too far? Oh yeah, I see a little work get done on there too. Grinding that on down. He done started this up in here. Hey. Yeah. Y'all see the work going on. Getting it all together. Now I'm eventually change these ones out, but he gonna go on and hook them up for me for now. Make it look good, paint it or whatever. But I'm gonna end up putting a UMI all the UMI suspension stuff on here, but you know, just to get me all the way together, man. I I posted some pictures of that earlier this week. Let me see, y'all can see up under there, all of that now, so I'll see it later. Oh, it's not breaking right now. Not breaking right now. Yeah, man, all right, so look, this is what I was gonna ask you though. They, the motor that I wanted, okay. that's the motor that's still in the truck. The day that I came, remember I said I came right back? They said they couldn't find that motor is what they told me. They couldn't find that motor and then they talked to you. This is why he, the dude kept talking to me and uh, was like, yeah, just tell him it's ready. And then you're calling me saying they're supposed to call me. So I was kind of confused what's going on there. But When I came back that day, I was coming back to tell you that's where I went and got the motor at. Okay. So he was like, give me a day and I'll go ahead and you can come back and pick it up. He never called me, but when I went over there, they asked me, they said, do you want, they said, we got two motors. They said, one of them is in the truck and another, they mentioned another motor. So I figured that might've been a motor you were saying they took to somebody's house. Yes, it was. But this motor, he asked me, did I, he said, did you want, Regular, we got one that got flex fuel injectors. I said I, I wanted the regular one without the flex fuel injectors. That's what I told him to do. This is the flex fuel injection motor. Okay. So that just means it can run either way. That means it's got the EFI injectors. Okay. It doesn't. It didn't matter. That's why I said it. We didn't need the one from out there. But we can run this motor just as well. Okay, that's but what, it didn't matter that I, we didn't need flex fuel. Right. Okay, that's what I was getting. See, I, I didn't have a chance. I didn't have a chance to talk to you. That's why I came back to ask you about. Okay. Which one? You know what I mean? So. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah, it, it seemed to work out because dude, he wasn't even there today. What other motors can you put a cam and lifters in and get over 100 horsepower? No. Nope. Have this orange aluminum pan. Keep it aluminum. Clean it all up. So. It, it seemed like I remember somebody saying something about the, but it ain't, it must not be this one. The pan, uh, yeah, some of the 5.3s come with a different pan uh -huh. um, for the four-wheel drive units to run through. Okay, so we fine with that. Yeah, we're fine with that. Because if you wanted, dude, we could literally put new bearings and everything in here. But you're not trying to go that far, are you? Not right now. Okay, that's why, I mean, I'd leave, dude, the, the bottom ends are so bulletproof. Right. That's why I said the bearings and the pistons, I'd leave alone. Okay. And the good thing about these motors is, like you said, they stout. Yeah. So if I do want to go back and do that, I can do it. The motor is still there. We have the, we got the motor now. You got everything. You we can do whatever we want to do to this, man. Yeah, yeah. Like we're talking about, if we want to boost it, 
we can do that. I mean, we can do whatever. You got. You're gonna have the platform to do it. The, now. Right, right, right. Dude, dude you can keep. I mean, if, now you got this. You can throw whatever power adder you want on there and keep up with the big boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. We got it. Next thing we're gonna do is figure out the train. We got so, the whole drive line, and then um, that'll be. We're, we're gonna keep that. That rear end you got in there is no joke, dude. You know that, right? Yeah. I know it adds up, man, but it's... No, it's all right. It's what it takes. I done been here before, man. This this ain't nearly as bad as some of the other bonehead stuff I done did, man. <laughs> this L, These LS swaps, is, with somebody like you, it ain't that bad. Yeah, so that's my next now I can get all this stuff taken care of, and then when the car is done, I can go ahead and... Or whenever you're ready for me to start paying you, I can just go ahead and take care of you. We already have all the parts. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna. My next step is uh, just picking up the materials for cleaning it. You know, wire wheels, sandpaper, stuff like that. You know. Yeah. I'm gonna get it all cleaned down. And... Only thing I don't like about these is I hate these intakes, man. The truck intake. Yeah. I mean, man, you could. It's the look. Yeah. What. He buys aftermarket intakes, and you can do that. We'll throw it on there. Just what you want, man. Let Especially me, if you're gonna put a cam on it. Let me um, let me do a little my little own research and see if it's benefits of leaving this on here. Cause I I, I have heard some. Flow good. That's the truck one does flow good. Okay. Oh, we should paint that too. The cover. Yeah. I'll do it up, man. I already know you gonna have a coat. You're gonna go. Uh, what are you gonna go with the car? I need to know what kind of paint scheme you're Original. Running. Same color okay. that it is now. That's what we wanted to know to try to match anything underneath the hood. Yeah. All these lines off. I'm gonna do the frames and everything. And then the brake lines, you're gonna be able to see them. They're not just gonna be painted over. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're gonna have that stainless steel brake line. These are the hold downs like I was talking about. They just go over there. Usually they sell Ah, uh, yeah, to hold yeah. the lines down to the frame. For the brake lines. Yeah. All right, I, can, well, I can pick them up at Menards. They're not very expensive. I was gonna say when I go to Summit, they may have a kit, but they probably want a thousand dollars. Every time I go up there, I spend too much money. I'm pretty sure uh, I can leave this whole front end together and pull this out and put it back in with the fenders and everything still holding. All that uh, inner core support. support. You got the motor and stuff done on that on that side? You yeah, painted it? No, it okay. Like, it's just all. I just took a can of black and just painted everything. So I like that. I got that. I mean, I get, uh, this is at 403, but I'm going to get that done in a couple of days. 300 shot is 400 bucks. You don't want to sell that uh, Camaro? Uh, he's had that a long time, man. Man, I love that body style. That's like, I think the F body. He's all new everything. It's just a shell, basically. Oh, yeah. I said, this ain't bad, man. I cleaned up. I used some of them parts, but. No, that's cool. He said this is a uh, 400? 403. 403. You got it looking good, man. Oh, this looks like shit. This was just thrown together fast, man. You get to, it. Yeah. See, this one I'm talking. These are the dual fans. I okay. Put them in there, wire them up to a thermostatic switch, mm -hmm. kick them on and off. You know? Okay. That switch was like 30 bucks at Summit. Right. But yes, yeah, this is uh, only going to run a little bit longer, maybe this year, and then I'm going to do the LS on this one. What are you going to do with this motor? You keep it? I, I tried to sell it once and I had it for sale the drive line for a thousand bucks. Dude came up here and uh, he walked away from it and then he met, texted me back two weeks later, man, can I still get that motor? And I said no and I haven't tried to sell it you since. So if um, you end up wanting to sell it, I I see if I can, you know, move it. Help yeah. move it for but you. I'm gonna I'm definitely going to I'm gonna sell all the Oldsmobile stuff. So as y'all see, we got the motor out of the back of the truck, which is pretty dope. I'm excited about this build, man. I had another LS motor. So if y'all go back into my videos, you'll see I had a gray or silver Monte Carlo SS. It was a 1987. I had bought an LS motor for that. And um, once I got rid of that car, I didn't like it because it didn't have the center console that had the shift in the column, it had a bench seat in the front. I just was like, that's not the Monte Carlo SS that I want. Like, I'm already sacrificing not having T-tops. I'm not about to sacrifice not having a center console and uh, 
you know, the shifter up on the column. So anyway, long story short, I sold that car. That's when I bought the uh, Mustang, the 2017 Mustang. And I left that motor at a mechanic spot. Now, I did go back by that mechanic spot to see if the motor may just happen to still be there. And I'm going to move my truck. I don't like where I'm parked at. But, I, you know, I went by there to see if the, that motor may still have been there. Anyway, that mechanic is no longer even in business. Part of the reason why I don't even have that car no more because I bought bucket seats and I bought a center console to be swapped out in that. Um, you know, we was going to take that column off of there. I bought a whole new steering column and everything from the same guy that I bought this car from. But long story short, though, you know, so the motor wasn't there. So I'm pretty stoked about the stoked. I'm pretty, you know, pumped up though about the motor and delivering that. Uh, me and Matt had a conversation. He's gonna clean the motor up real good. We're gonna paint it back. We're gonna go with the Chevy orange for now, but I may switch that out and have him paint everything the same color that the car is gonna be. I gotta look at some things. He he's pretty good at paint cars. I think y'all painting motors and engine bays y'all seen what he did to that malibu i showed y'all that and it's another car that he also did uh that he showed pictures of in one of the other videos too y'all gotta go back and watch some of that stuff i know some of y'all gonna be new to the channel uh based off of this ls swap build some of y'all may catch this video and then have to go back and watch some of the older videos or whatnot so that's cool too but we got a lot accomplished today got the motor there i'm gonna go in here and get my workout on um i'm working on chest shoulders and triceps y'all know how i do it man um start my three day rotation over but this week i'm gonna go six days straight and then take a break i ain't gonna take i ain't gonna go three and then take a day off i just want to mix it up just a little bit i don't want to keep doing the same thing the same routine every week but um i'm pumped up about this motor man for sure i think this is gonna be one of my best builds. I mean, you see he got the frame already. He's sanding down on that already. Going to get that all cleaned up and painted. Um, the car is solid. I mean, the car is solid. The frame is solid. The body is solid. Everything about the car is like what I where I need it to be at. You know, a, a, few, a few dollars put into that car. And I'm going to have a nice car. Uh, better than me spending money on something else. I, I always wanted to get like I wanted a newer Dodge Challenger than so many guys was getting those and I still may end up getting a Dodge Challenger just because I like muscle cars um I really been looking at those 300s though with the Hellcats and those or whatever so I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as what holds what the future holds but right now I'm focused on building this Monte Carlo SS I'm gonna definitely do some mods to big black i gotta get big black together um i have to repaint big black's bumpers again i don't know why i did that i painted them a couple years ago and they start flaking or whatever so i got that done and um i want to put a bigger set of rims on big black i got to get some work done under the hood to big black she ready he or she whatever if big black is a woman or a girl i don't know but big black needs a tune up real bad uh, so I need to get that together. So we'll be doing videos on Big Black as well, man. And I'm going to try to finish these projects I started. I started Big Black as a project. Got Big Black lifted, rims, and never really finished Big Black. So we're going to get Big Black together. We're going to get uh, the Harley, the Street Glide. We're going to finish that. Really, all I really want to do to the Street Glide is uh, stretch the tank at this point and... Um, they got the side covers, the stretch side covers too. I'm gonna put some eight inch DS18 speakers in, in, in my speaker lids or whatever, get rid of those six by nines, get a little louder. So I'm gonna get that stuff done um, to the Harley, man. It's gonna be a dope summer. Stay tuned in to everything that I got going on, the workouts. Um, I'm gonna give y'all an update on my uh, weight loss here in a little bit, probably post a video on that tomorrow as well. Or the day after. I'm gonna give you know, give my I was doing the daily vlogs, but with me still growing this platform, I think that maybe I should give like each video a chance to try to, you know, grow as far as the views and, and, and let the reach on that 
mature a little bit before I jump and post the next video. So I am like keeping like a day in between, maybe sometimes two days in between my next upload. But maybe I should do them every day. Go back to doing them every day. I'm not for sure, man. Just trying to figure this out. Trying to figure this vlogging thing out for y'all. You know, I'm used to doing the hip hop commentary on my other channel. And that thing, you know, it's based off of what's in the algorithm and what's trending right now in music. So this is a little different. Uh, I'm letting you guys in on my life, some of the things that I got going on. Um, you know, chase football, my kids and things like that. Maybe I'll start adding a little relationship uh, videos and stuff like that. Let y'all in on that as well. As y'all can see, the gray is starting to come back now. The thing about that, it's been about 11 days since I posted that video. I think I posted a video. I don't know if I posted the video the same day that I dyed my beard or did I post it the day after. But I mean, you know, for people who want to dye their beard, I probably won't do it again. But for the people who want to dye their beard, I mean, nine days, I mean, you know, that, that should work for you. And on Sunday, on Sundays, you can just re-hit it again, man. I don't know. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all want to actually see on this build, uh, uh, this LS build. If you guys did any LS swaps and you got any, you know, suggestions. I know one guy said that I should change the, you know, all the parts like the alternator and stuff like that. Well, the motor that I got, I told him keep the alternator, keep the wiring harness. I didn't want to know none of that. I'm going with this uh, Holly um, wiring harness, LS wiring harness for LS swaps. It comes with the computer and everything that I need for that. So we're going to go with that and I'll be able to throw tunes on it or whatever. So we're going to tune that thing up. I'm going to try to get it as close to 500 horses as possible by the time it leaves Matt's shop we putting a cam in it we're gonna put some lifters in there and i'll get into more details i really don't know what cam i'm gonna run in there so we'll get into more details about the cam um i do want it to load a little bit so we'll see what the stall on that is and you know we're just gonna go go hard man coming up you know we'll be starting to hunt down that 4l80 transmission i do want the overdrive as well as i gotta get some uh brake lines because we putting all new brake lines I already bought new uh rotors and brake calibers for the front and i think i may just go ahead while it's there have them swap out the drums and go ahead and convert those over to uh disc brakes as well if not we'll take it back and have them do it at a later time man but uh i appreciate everybody for tuning in uh, keep tapping in. I'll keep bringing y'all this dope content. Keep encouraging people to work out and get healthy, man. And you know it's gonna be a it's gonna be a roller coaster this year, man. I, I got a lot of things planned coming up uh, real soon. I don't want to go into too much detail about what I plan on doing for this channel, where I plan on going, things I plan on doing. Y'all know it when it happens, man. Uh, but I'll get with y'all in a minute, man. Peace.